Good evening and welcome to the 43rd Annual Groves Academy Gala. I'm Adrian Broaddus from CARE TV. I'm thrilled to join you tonight as your MC. We are going to have a great time together during this virtual gala as we celebrate Groves and raise some critical funds to continue their important work of transforming lives through education. Students at Groves taught me they have learning differences, not disabilities. That's a prime example of when the student becomes the teacher. And tonight I'm so happy to be with you virtually, even though we can't be together in person. Thank you for taking time to log on from the comfort of your home, car. Heck, some of you might be at the lake, just as long as you're comfortable. Last week I was comfy. I conducted an interview in my jammies. So I left the jammies at home tonight and dressed up for the first time since I don't know when. Anyway, I'm glad you're wearing something comfortable and we're going to provide you with a look into the outstanding work that happens at Groves Academy, Groves Learning Center, and in our community through the Groves Literacy Partnerships. You will hear from the new president at Groves, Dan Morgan, and you'll hear about his quest to change the world through the Groves method of teaching people how to read. I previously learned about Groves as a school but I was fascinated to learn more about their learning center and their numerous school partnerships that serve the greater Twin Cities community. Together, Dan and I will show you the impact of Groves, especially during these challenging times. Our goal tonight is to raise $600,000 to redefine the way our nation is taught and to propel Groves' mission of building confidence, success, and purpose through transformative learning experiences. The need for support has never been greater. All funds raised tonight will provide critical financial aid for students at Groves Academy and expand its K through third grade literacy partnerships with nearly 50 schools to help close the literacy achievement gap. Tonight, you can also make a difference by bidding on our amazing auction items. Hey, you're going to find the auction button right there on the bottom of your screen to view and bid on those items. There are 10 categories, and I must admit, some pretty cool things to bid on. We're talking about trips, restaurant experiences, jewelry, golf, specialty alcohol. Mom and dad, you might need it after a week of distance learning. I don't know, I'm just saying. And also a beekeeping experience, hopefully, you were able to log on early and start bidding on your favorite items. A special thanks to the many local businesses and individuals who generously donated items. The auction will remain open until 8.30 p.m. tonight. And of course, we want to thank everyone, especially our sponsors. And we want tonight to be as fun and interactive as possible. So please use the chat function to communicate with us as we go. Hey, I'd love to hear about you. Tell me what you're thinking. And if you have any questions or comments, drop them in the chat area. A sincere thank you to all of the generous sponsors who stuck with us as we move to this virtual event, especially our two presenting sponsors, Wagner Spray Tech and Mark Sanger. All proceeds from tonight's event go straight to the mission of Groves Academy. Your support enables Groves to help students like Silas, who you will meet shortly. Silas went from falling behind and feeling frustrated in school to growing socially and thriving academically. Investing in Groves also means that the organization can share their expertise and proven method of literacy instruction with teachers in the Twin Cities and beyond. With your help, yes, your help, Groves wants to close the literacy achievement gap. Let's get started. And to start things tonight, we are going to watch a brief video about Groves Academy. I want to change the world in terms of how we teach people how to read. It is a foundational skill that we know if it doesn't develop early enough in life, the trajectory can be really scary. Groves is three strategic organizations in pursuit of one overall incredible mission, and that is to have transformative learning experiences and to change the way that our nation teaches reading, one school, one teacher, one student, one community at a time. Groves originally started as Groves Academy by this intrepid group of families who needed something totally different, and it is a school specifically for kids who learn differently. 
We have students with dyslexia, ADD, ADHD, and other learning challenges who needed a place to thrive, and that's what Groves was built on. And we have this amazing learning center that serves both our students here in the building as well as students in the community through diagnostic testing, speech and language components to what they do. There's tutoring available, and they run an incredible summer program as well. And third component to Groves is this new partnership opportunity where we take what we know has been incredible at Groves in terms of how we teach using the science of reading. We basically box that up and bring it out to other schools. We need people who are neurodiverse, who think differently, who process differently. These kids, these are the disruptors. These are the creators. These kids are amazing. They just need to be understood and for them to have an approach that's going to unlock their potential. If we can help them thrive, we can't imagine what they're going to do once they get out there on their own. Incredible. The sky is the limit. These kids can do anything they want, and we should all encourage them to dream big and bigger. I'd like to welcome to the stage Groves President Dan Morgan. Come on, Dan. Thanks, Adrian. I am so happy to be here with you tonight, properly socially distanced, of course, and I'm really excited to share my passion with you and with everyone out there, uh, my passion for unique learners and the impact that they will have on the world. My entire career has been in education, helping students who think differently, students just like the kids that we see at Groves every day, get what they need and unlock their true potential. Groves is poised to become a real leader in educating students with LD and in literacy instruction for all. But I really, I cannot properly express my gratitude to those of you out there who for the last 47 years helped build and shape Groves into the incredible institution we are today. I am humbled by the visionary parents and leaders who believed in the power of a different approach, who spent their time, who shed their tears, and who contributed their precious resources to mold Groves into a successful, stable, and transformative organization that truly changes kids' lives. Groves works with and supports and understands children who learn differently. These kids are divergent thinkers. They have a strong intellect and an essential capacity for creativity, but they need a place of education and learning that understands this and unleashes it instead of stifling it. And this is what we mean when we say Groves provides transformative learning experiences. That is our mission, and our vision is to do that for every child and every family that is connected to our school and our learning center. And we want to take that expertise and experience out to our partner schools so that we can impact many more kids and teachers who might never have the opportunity to come to Groves and learn with us. And thus, we can positively change the paradigm of education forever. It's just a small goal. I am incredibly proud to be part of this organization and I'm deeply committed to accelerating the quality, reach, and results of our school, the Learning Center, and the partnerships that we have through Groves Literacy Partnerships. There are serious consequences to our society if kids don't learn how to read. A simple but sad example is that 70% of the US prison population can't read above the fourth grade level, and 40% of those people in prison are diagnosed with dyslexia. Because of Groves Academy's proven success with students for over 47 years, we recently began sharing what we know works beyond the four walls of our building. Several years ago, we developed a framework and a curriculum to teach reading to all learners at all levels, and we are sharing it with public, charter, Catholic, and independent schools in the greater Twin Cities area. This is Groves Literacy Partnerships, and the program focuses on students in general education classrooms from kindergarten to third grade. And you may know, or you may not know, that the focus in those grades is on learning how to read. But from fourth grade on, you are reading to learn. But if you never learn how to read, how can you ever read to learn? And the strength of Grove's Literacy Partnership lies with merging the art of teaching, and it truly is an art, with the proven science of learning. What happens is a Grove's coach works one-to-one -one with the classroom teacher to help them become a Groves certified master teacher. And we cannot do this work without the important philanthropy dollars from you, our community. One third of Groves students who attend Groves Academy rely on financial aid. As I mentioned in the video, 
Our world now more than ever needs these kids to be successful. They are the disruptors. They are the creators. And as I mentioned, they are the divergent thinkers that we need to become the leaders of the next generation. One such student is Silas. In this upcoming video, Silas and his parents share their experience at a school that didn't meet their needs and their subsequent journey to success at Groves. Silas is a student in our upper school who will be embarking on his fifth year at Groves this fall. He is the basketball team manager. He works in the Groves School store. He's a member of the Groves Student Ambassadors. And as you'll see, he has a real strong passion for trains. Also, Silas was one of the first students to welcome me to Groves when I first arrived, and I will never forget his unending smile. Thanks, Silas. Silas struggled a lot at the school that he was previously at. What I noticed is, you know, his joy was just sapped. He'd come home dejected, frustrated. And as a parent, you know, you can imagine when you see your child struggling and suffering that way, it just kind of tears your heart out. We identified what his disabilities were and we accommodated for him with an IEP and things like that. After a day at school, he would feel discouraged. He lacked confidence. He felt misunderstood. He often would say, no one's helping me. No one's helping me, no one's hearing me, I'm needing help. And that's what we needed to do differently for him. At my old school, like, the homework load kind of piled up and piled up, and I was falling really behind, and like everyone else was like a chapter or two ahead of me while I was like three chapters behind them, and I really was frustrated. I was trying to, you know, catch up on missing schoolwork that I had. It was just really quickly in October, November of that year where we were like, oh my goodness, we need to find another option and we need to find another option quick. But we knew we needed to make a change. We needed to find a different way. Groves Academy is an organization that's dedicated to our mission of creating transformative learning experiences for our students. We are a place of belonging. We care. We care about the instruction that we give to our students. We care about the classroom sizes. We care about our curriculum and the evidence-based nature of our curriculum to make sure that what we're doing is achieving the goals of creating transformative learning experiences for our students. We care about the community to which we all belong, one student, one teacher, and one school at a time. I know that in every single school and in every single classroom there are kids who are struggling with dyslexia or whatever other challenge it may be, and our method really does work incredibly well. It's heartbreaking to see these incredibly smart, intelligent, capable human beings struggle with something that they believe should be so easy for them and that they see so many other people doing naturally. I'm tired of hearing students say that they're stupid or that they're not smart or they're not capable or they just can't do it. That is not fair to them and frankly it's not fair to the world because we need we need these kids. Groves is here has really been a huge help because they've really adapted to my learning of disabilities and I've been able to grow and thrive here at Groves. Silas is a young man who works very hard and I'm so proud of him for that. He's just a real inspiration to me. It's seeing him Thriving at school rather than just surviving at school uh, is just being a world of difference. He's a totally different person. Yeah. He has sure. drastically changed. And we're very thankful for Groves because absolutely. it's been absolutely instrumental in these gains that he's experiencing now. From heartbreak to healing, that was a beautiful story of Silas and his family's road to thriving at Groves. Tonight, we all have an opportunity to be part of something bigger and support students like Silas. I'd like to introduce you to a man who has a voice bolder than the bow tie he's wearing tonight, Kurt Johnson. He's going to tell you more about this important mission and the work we do at Groves and how you can help, but more importantly, Kurt is going to help us get the job done. Kurt? Thanks, Adrian. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, we're keeping our distance, absolutely. Well, it's great to be here with you tonight, and I'm grateful to be part of this great evening and this program supporting the valuable expertise that Groves provides in our community. It is important to me also on a very personal level. You see, over 20 years ago, my daughter was struggling in school. 
Through the help of professionals, she was diagnosed with ADD. The help she received uh, completely changed her learning experience and, and frankly, her whole life. But there's more to that story. I remember the day very well when I looked at her doctor and said, hey, uh, can we chat a minute? Now, I'm sure many of you are, know exactly where this is going. I was quickly uh, diagnosed with ADD myself. And for the people at the time who knew me, that was no surprise. And anybody who knows me now, like, oh, that doesn't surprise me at all. But in reflecting and learning about ADD, I realized it wasn't just me, but my, my, it was a generational thing throughout my family, but completely undiagnosed. We were just called really busy people. But finally, having someone telling me what it was and telling me it was okay, well, it was life-changing. They gave me tools to cope and move on with it and, and get through all the challenges. It, it's, it's been tremendous. But also, this knowledge has had me reflect on my educational experience. I'll readily admit uh, math, sciences, anything that required concentration or a memorization, I, I really had a hard time with. I was thrilled if I could simply get a C. I wonder what my life would have been had Groves been there or a Groves educated teacher. What would have been the trajectory of my education? Well, what, what experience it could have helped me instead of simply struggling and, and saying, geez, I'm not as smart as those other kids. Um, but just for the record, I did pretty well in speech class. Just want you to know that part. So I stand here with you tonight to make a difference. I do so with a level of passion that starts deep, starts deep within me. I want to thank all of you for joining us and making a difference. Your donation is critical. So many students are in need of a Groves education, but they simply cannot afford it. The, the cost is, is, is high for these people. And beyond the walls of the Groves Academy, many schools in our community, our very own community, want to equip their teachers with the proven Groves successful methods of their literacy methods. But their school budgets are tight, and we all know, we've already heard Minnesota, they're going to get tighter. You can help the Silases and the thousands of elementary students who are learning to read in our school partnerships. So, so how much have we raised so far, Becky? Okay, we're at $57,000 right now, all right. Now, that's a long way to go. That's not even 10% of our $600,000, and we are going to get there, but we need your help. We need it now. Help fund the future for all those students and have that impact that will be on for years and years with the good work that Groves does. Now, we need you to do it by entering a gift. Go to the bottom of your screen, okay? Go to the little tab there. 100% of your donation goes to help students gain confidence and the joy of learning. Keeping no students in from recess just simply because they couldn't get their words correctly ordered. Let's get busy helping the students like Silas and all those kids. The 3,000 served by our partner schools. So, okay, now, how do you do it? Scroll down, scroll down. Go on, get, grab your mouse. You see that little gift package that is there? Click on it. Touch your screen. You can touch your own screen. It's all social distance. You'll see a bar come up, 25,000, 15,000, 10, 5, whatever you want to give, click on all the way down to 100. We also have another button on there, a really cool button that says other. Because I know there are a lot of you who understand what Groves has done to so many people. Could you do 100,000? Could you do 50,000? Could you do... $19.73 for the year you were born. We don't care what the number is because coming together, all of us coming together as a community makes a huge difference. Now, well, we're getting an update on the number. Okay, <laughs> we're at $95,000 right now. All right. <laughs> now, if you don't see your buttons, it's because you've maximized your screen. Minimize it. I don't know how to minimize it. You maximize it. Just do it in reverse, okay? Just do that. Folks, I want you to let you know that the board members of Groves Academy have generously given a gift that is going to match dollar for dollar any new donor up to $10,000. Let's hear it for the board. Yeah! Okay, so go on there. If you've never given before, now is the time to do it. Give $10, $100, $50, whatever. Let's get that money from them. Now, let's, um, 
Okay, we're at $95,000 right now. Okay, once again, your investment creates, oh, she's changing it. Wait up, I love, I love this is live, folks. You know, this is, we're at $162,000 right now. <laughs> Come on, let's get a brighter future for students, all those ones who cannot afford a Groves education, as well as giving access to our partners like Hiawatha Academies. Did you know that approximately 30% of the students at Groves receive tuition assistance? That's right, here's the number. In 2000, or the next school year, 2020, 2021, they will give $1.5 million. That is a huge gift to these students. Now, it makes it possible for students to, to benefit from the Grows Academy of Education. A lot of things going on over here. i got to make sure it's still going on. So make sure you get on and continue. Go down there. Click and do it. Well, update, update. Here it comes. We're at just under $164,000. So please, there are so many schools in our community waiting. The waiting list is huge to work with Groves, but they need your help. Now, I'm going to come back up here. Don't stop giving, and thank you so much. Adrian, would you please come on up here? Yeah, Social Kurt, distance. We're social. We're, we're, we're working together, but we're staying apart, and I'm cool with that. I told you he had a voice that was incredible, the type of voice that makes you want to give, so don't ever stop throughout the course of the night. Please keep giving. Whatever you can give is going to make a huge difference in the lives of our students. Thank you so much. Earlier, we mentioned the impact of COVID-19. And I wanted to bring Dan back to the stage to share with you how Groves responded to this challenging new environment. And I'm going to move over and let Dan take the set. Thanks, Adrian. I'm on my square. We all know and have experienced the unique and acute challenges presented by COVID-19. And I have to thank the instructional staff at Groves, our teachers, our tutors, our coaches, anyone who worked with a student directly they were the true heroes during our time with distance learning. As we look to the fall, we remain hopeful and optimistic about the trajectory of all of our students, our clients, and our organization. Now let's join our head of school, Kim Peoples, to take a look at our response to COVID-19 and what happened during distance learning this spring. The triple threat our world is facing with the COVID-19 pandemic the economic recession and our national reckoning with systemic racism is redefining how our nation approaches everything these days. However, Groves' vision to redefine the way our nation is taught, one student, one teacher, one school at a time remains steadfast. When the world began to shift mid-March, the entire Groves community pulled together to deliver powerful solutions to ensure the consistency of education and support for our students, families, and partner schools. Groves Academy continued to prioritize relationships and academics to conclude an unusual yet memorable spring semester from virtual team projects, group lunches via Zoom, middle school newscasts with videos submitted from home, a Zoom production of the spring play Macbeth via YouTube, and a virtual spring talent show. The Learning Center provided virtual tutoring and speech and language support to students. In fact, some families decided they prefer this mode of service delivery, so in some ways necessity was the mother of invention. Diagnostic testing deemed essential resumed in May with many thoughtful safety protocols in place. Grows Literacy Partnerships immediately began supporting our 30 partner schools virtually, providing weekly video lessons to all teachers to lighten their load and ensure that students were continuing to get the same literacy instruction as pre-COVID. A video library of lessons was created and Grows Coaches creatively provided support to teachers and students. The school year concluded with virtual award ceremonies. Yard signs and donuts were delivered to each senior's home by upper school division directors, Sue Dinopoli and Peter Schutte, and faculty. And on June 3rd, 24 seniors enjoyed a unique drive-through graduation ceremony where the decorated car parade through cheering, teachers and counselors concluded with diplomas and personalized well wishes delivered on a pizza paddle created by assistant head of school, Colin Roney. We did this together. We did this as a community.
I've seen a lot in my lifetime, but a pizza paddle? We flipped education on its head this spring. You certainly did. That was incredible. I'm used to folks flipping the script, but that is what I like to call innovation. And it speaks to what you said earlier about the teachers really caring for their students and having a powerful role in their lives. Absolutely. They were really the true heroes of everything we did this spring. And they remain as such as we go into next year. So, <clears throat> we had a graduation. It was my first Groves graduation, and it was really special, although I have to say it definitely was not the one that we had planned. Uh, thanks for recognizing our teachers, and thanks for recognizing our team. Absolutely. Uh, and I want to take this time to congratulate our Groves senior class of 2020. There are 24 of you, and it was the biggest graduating class in school history. When you started last fall, I am sure you did not imagine how the year would end, but on behalf of all of us at Groves, we are so proud of you for your tenacity and your hard work. As you gear up for Augsburg, Landmark, UMD, Dunwoody, Mankato, MCTC, and Stout, we cannot wait to see what you will do next. So all of you out there, please use the live chat and please send our grads best wishes on their next adventure. Now, while we are so thrilled to celebrate our biggest ever graduating class, we know that this year, more than ever, there are dozens of families struggling to get to Groves or to stay at Groves. So in response, during this time of critical need, Groves launched a student and family emergency fund to ensure that those who need the extra help will receive it. What a tragedy it would be if students who want to attend Groves couldn't do so because of financial hardship. Therefore, tonight, $250,000 that we raise will go directly to scholarships. And as you can imagine, we also need to make many improvements to our building to keep everybody safe. So $50,000 will be used for increased sanitization and all the necessary technology we need to ensure that we can provide nimble, robust, and rigorous educational experiences this fall. Kurt, please join me back on stage. All right, Dan, thanks a lot. <laughs> cool things just keep happening. And it's probably a good thing as an auctioneer I'm ADD because I just got they handed me a piece of paper, and they said, look what happened. We had a magnificent challenge just that was just given to us. We received $50,000. $50,000, folks, come on. We got staff sitting all over the place here. $50,000 in memory of Grove's lower student, Ben Rudicilli. Um, he died, sadly, five years ago. So this challenge is a direct challenge to you. They want to put up $50,000, and they want you to match it. This is outstanding. I, I hope we have some other folks here tonight who want to join this donor and make sure that all the students who really need Groves do not face any barriers receiving the education they may deserve. Where are we at with our number now? Let's put it in here. I mean, $50,000, hold on, here it comes. $238,000 right now. Yeah! <laughs> I'll, I'll be back here with some more numbers, but I gotta bring my friend Adrian back up here. Your way. I love it. Thanks so much, Kurt. You know, a learning difference can truly change the course of someone's life, but you all are making a difference. Our lives were changed when COVID-19 hit, and we're all worried about the effects that COVID-19 had on students who struggled during this time of distance learning. Groves is committed to doing everything it can to, create it, to creatively teach, coach, train, and reach students to keep them on track and continue to find success. We mentioned earlier that Groves has a growth engine called Groves Literacy Partnerships. This fall, Groves will be in nearly 50 schools sharing their proven approach to teaching, reading to every child. The power of this partnership are Groves' highly skilled and experienced coaches who work one-on-one -on -one with classroom teachers. Coming up next is a glimpse into Coach Heidi's work in classrooms at Hiawatha Academies, a charter school in South Minneapolis. 
Hiawatha's innovative leadership and dedicated teaching staff have embraced Grove's mission to close the literacy achievement gap. Let's take a look. 60% of the students in Minnesota aren't reading at grade level, aren't reading proficiently. We need to ensure that every child that starts school in kindergarten is on a path to become a reader by fourth grade. Groves Literacy Partnerships is a program where we take good literacy instruction out to all learners. We send coaches into each classroom, helping develop that teacher into a master literacy teacher by the end of the school year. Our program is based on 50 years of current research on the science of reading, as well as over 45 years of our school being in existence. And we take the good literacy instruction that happens in our school and we replicate it. Partnering with Groves has been a tremendous opportunity for our schools. You know, we know that adopting a curriculum or adopting great materials alone is not going to teach students. And what Groves offers is a curricular framework for doing this instruction that we know is essential, but also support for teachers. A really great part of being a literacy coach is being able to develop relationships with so many teachers. It's an amazing feeling to see how many students are touched by this program and how many teachers as well. With good literacy instruction, we can close the achievement gap. I think of having a coach as like a partnership. My coach has been able to do a sample lesson quickly as I sit back and observe, which is always something teachers like desire. And then I get to practice what I just saw and then get feedback on how I did it and what I can add. I think so many schools are struggling to figure out how to get students to love reading. When my students first came in, many of them were reading at pre-K level. When they would pick up their pencil, there would be tears. They truly lacked any confidence in themselves. So now my kids will say like, oh, I don't want to miss phonics. We love phonics. I wonder now how I ever taught reading without this method. It's changed my philosophy on how kids learn to read, how they learn to write. Education is access, and access is opportunity. And opportunity, right, with a powerful education, not only transforms a single life, but transforms a family and transforms a community. And I believe at the heart of that is literacy, because literacy is power, it's access, it's freedom. Being a strong reader unlocks so much potential in students. Imagine if all kids, regardless of where they lived, regardless of what their zip code, all could get good literacy instruction. This right here, it's a game changer. And I know our schools in Minnesota and around the country desperately need the help. I wish more children and teachers could benefit from Grove's expertise. With your help, tonight, you can make that happen. And before we go, this is your final reminder to go make a donation. Go down below. Click the present. Give money. $10,000, $20,000, $5,000, $19.42. cents. I don't care what number it is. Put it in there. Your donation will help students at Groves and students at schools like Hiawatha with, with all the help they need. With help from the Groves teachers and their classroom teachers, these students are guaranteed to go right on through life and go right over those cracks. We don't want kids, any kids falling through the cracks. They're going to go right on through with the helps of the Groves teachers. We need you tonight to give. Please, now, don't wait. Now, before we go, I wanted to talk to you about the silent auction. If you found yourself distracted through the program by all the awesome items, I don't blame you. Please make sure you check out the auction packages the Gross community donated to help to support this event. We thank all those donors. A few things I don't want you to miss are the premier category, items such as a trip to Frisco, Colorado, a luxurious weekend in New York, a VIP experience at Domain Serene, Oregon. They've got really good wine. A personalized cocktail class at Spoon and Stable right here in Minneapolis. I think that's for eight people. Sweet Martha's cookies. There's no state fair, folks, so you better get the cookies now. 
and we got some great seats and jerseys from our fabulous hometown sports teams for when the fans, we can finally go back, and we're all waiting for that. We also have unique high-end bottles of wine. Uh, they have it all, folks, so you'll be sure not to miss out on it. You have to late 30 tonight. The proceeds raised through the auction support the students at Groves, as well as the other students in our community at our partner schools. Now, I want to check in with a couple things here. So first of all, Domain Serene, oh, they're such great people. That's at $3,000. We have New York at 2,500. Spoon and Stable cocktail class for eight people, 2,250. If you only have seven people, give me a call, I'll go. Sacrifice, but I'll do it. Montreal, $1,500. Frisco, Colorado, you could drive there, folks. You don't need a passport. That's just at $3,000. Um, it goes to 830. Let, let, Becky, where are we at on, on the fund they need right now? Oh, something else. Really? Uh, the Sanger family just gave $50,000. <laughs> yeah! That, that's the love that this community has. I mean, I know there's a lot of people who are looking around. They may not be from around here, or maybe you've moved away and you're checking back in. That's the love of growth. That's what people who understand what this education can do. It's life-changing. These kids are going to change the world, and we need people like that who are going to come in after us. And right now, and you still have time to give, that fund of need is now getting changed again, is at $245,000. All right. But we're going to let you keep giving, and the auction closes at 8.30. I've... Had a great time tonight, ladies and gentlemen. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for everything that you've done for the 47 years of supporting Grows. It's been my pleasure. My name is Kurt Johnson with Kurt Johnson Auctioneering. And let's bring back the true star of the night, Adrian. Hey, Kirk. Big shoes to follow following Kirk there. Thank you to everyone who helped fund the future tonight for so many deserving students at Groves Academy and in our community. I see you guys out there on your deck, having a good time, bidding back and forth. Keep it going, we love it. Together, we are helping to close the literacy achievement gap. And all of the teachers at Groves miss you too. Another huge thank you to all of our sponsors who made this night possible, as well as the gala committee and our dedicated volunteers and staff. A shout out to them. Our program is ending, but please, Kurt just told you, the auction is open until 8.30. The donation page will stay open until Friday at 10 o'clock, that's p.m., so you can share with others if you feel inclined to spread the good work of Groves. Before I let you go tonight, I want to leave you with a quote from Eleanor Roosevelt, and I'm paraphrasing here because in her quote, she talked about women, but I think it applies to all of us. We're a lot like tea bags. We never know, and you never know, how strong you are until you're placed in hot water. Keep striving for success. Thanks, and good night, everyone.